Meanwhile, the World Bank has reviewed the proposed 432 framework for Antigua and Barbuda as the Ministry of Finance hosts a team from the World Bank on May 1 and 2. The purpose is to review the suitability of the framework. Antigua and Barbuda is the second country in the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union undergoing this review with Grenada being the first. Terry Andrew explains. At the request of CARICOM heads of government, the 432 framework was developed by the IMF and the World Bank. It is designed to present a framework of solutions to address the chronic problem of high and unsustainable debt faced by the Caribbean and other small states. The framework is built around four pillars, three instruments, and two stages, hence the term 432. The four pillars which deal with the challenge of high debt include enhancing private sector-led growth, improving fiscal balance, mitigating the fiscal impact of natural disasters and other external shocks, and restructuring debt portfolios. The framework envisaged that debt portfolio restructuring would be accomplished utilizing the three main debt tools, buyback operations, debt-to-debt -debt swap, and debt-to-equity swap. This would then be implemented in two stages. This meeting is particularly important as Caribbean countries are among the highest indebted in the world. This problem is compounded by factors such as fiscal indiscipline and fiscal vulnerability to natural disasters and equally importantly by relatively higher income levels which bar the CARICOM region's access to concessionary loans. The World Bank Forum is being hosted at the Ministry of Finance conference room and brings together a wide cross-section of public and private sector representatives. Terry Andrew, ABS News.